Hello friends, uh, this is tutorial number 43 in these Turbo Pascal programming language tutorials. Ok, in this tutorial uh, we will talk about arrays. Ok, uh, sometimes okay, we work with variables but uh, we need uh, uh, sometimes to work with a larger data and we for because of that we need to use arrays but to explain it better I will I will explain you now okay uh, first uh, we will have a variable a variable which will be x which will be an integer okay and now uh, we will have array it will be a uh, names which will be a uh, array just a second array okay and uh, we need uh, we need to know exactly to know how many elements we will have in array okay we can uh, if you know from the uh, other languages is it uh, usually starts with it always star starts with zero but here uh, we can uh, uh, we can start uh, from one if we want and we will we can start from one and how many elements it is better to, to know to, to start with one and uh, for example if we have if we will have five elements we need two dots and we will uh, type five and we uh, we need to know what uh, what uh, data type will be uh, of array and in this case it is names and it will be an string of string okay and okay this is our array of strings and now we need a begin and end of our application and uh, now uh, what we need to do uh, we just uh, we need to define uh, which uh, elements of array okay uh, this uh, this element has uh, uh, this array has five elements and it will be names uh, we need to define define all elements of uh, this array okay and we will uh, we will start uh, uh, names Uh, names of uh, one uh, will be uh, will be equals to okay it can be Bob okay and we will need a uh, five elements uh, names uh, it uh, Bob will be first element of array names of two will be it can be a uh, John okay uh, we have we need to define third element third element it will be KC uh, fourth element names of four okay it can be Arnold and names of five the last element of array it will be okay any name uh, and it can be a uh, uh, Harvey okay and with this we define uh, all elements of array okay uh, our array has five elements it is from one to five and we define all these elements of array this is array of uh, strings of course it can be uh, we can use char we can use uh, integers long int short int whatever we want uh, in this case uh, we are using a uh, string and now how we uh, uh, if we want to pry uh, uh, now we will just say uh, let's print it 
right line and we will just print this array uh, and what we will do uh, let's compile and cannot read or write variables of this type okay as you can see uh, we can just we cannot just print uh, uh, array uh, okay, uh, if we want to print, for example, uh, uh, one element of array, we need to define which element of array we want to print. If, for example, we want to print a first element, uh, okay, uh, we need to define, we want to print first element of the names. And we will compile, okay, it's okay, and what we will get uh okay i forgot a read line okay i will debug to the user screen i okay we have a bob and it is the first element of our array and let's use a read line okay uh we also can uh change this to we let's uh, uh let's print a fourth element of the array and let's run okay we have arnold uh, okay, let me clear uh, and okay, uh, let's let's uh, print uh, el uh, fifth element of this is not a movie fifth element of the array and it will be Harvey. Okay, and uh, you know uh, if we now want to print all, we need to uh, write line names one, names two, names three, but. Uh, in the case uh, okay uh, and what will will what will be if we have 30 names okay and now first we need to enter 30 names in the array and after that we want to print this uh, this uh, 30 names of uh, array uh, right line name one name two name three okay we can do that but uh, we will be very tired because of that and if we want uh, okay, let me I will just I don't need this anymore and how we uh, and of course I need I didn't use tab here uh, and now uh, uh, if we want to print them all and uh, Okay, we want to print them all how are we gonna do that. Okay. Uh, I'm sure that you remember that we uh, when we learned uh, uh, loops and uh, for uh, the best way to print uh, an array is using a loop. Okay, we use uh, uh, we know about four loop four. Okay, our array has five elements from one to five, and we will just use our variable x from four x equals uh, one to five. Uh, uh, do okay and let's use a uh, begin we need a begin and end okay and what we're gonna do here okay uh, this is a for for uh, uh, for uh, for two loop we don't need to use uh, incrementation what we need to do uh, for uh, okay uh, from x equals to 1 to 5 what we're gonna do uh, we will simply uh, write line and uh, uh, what we will write uh, uh, names uh, names of uh, x and that should be that should be all uh, and uh, okay uh, okay uh, x start with with one uh, okay it will print us names of first element of the first name and uh, x when x equals to 2 it will print us the second element and it will print us all elements of the array all five names and uh, let's just compile this okay and uh, let's run okay okay as you can see we have but just a second i will uh, i will uh, clear to uh, all okay i will run again and as you can see we have all of five names okay bob john casey arnold and harvey 
uh, and we have uh, all uh, our, all of our names uh, printed. Okay, of course uh, we can use. Uh, we can uh, let me just uh, okay, or I I will uh, just let me clear. I will not delete anything. Okay, and here what can we do? If we oh, you can use of course you can use a vial. But uh, in, before we use a while, we need to define uh, x needs to be uh, needs to be equals not zero. It needs to be equals uh, to one. And now uh, uh, we just will type while x uh, uh, less or equal to five. Okay, starts with one and uh, while x less or equal than five uh, do. And we will simply uh, have, uh, of course, begin and end. Okay, and uh, we can simply uh, we will do the same thing. Right, line uh, names of uh, x. But I forgot one thing. Uh, maybe uh, this is one thing. Uh, if I now run this, uh, it, it will. <laughs> It, uh, we will uh, crash. We will crash our program. We need to incre uh, We need to uh, do incrementation. X plus one. Okay. You can use while loop, but take care. Uh, uh, take care about incrementation. Uh, you will suffer. <laughs> okay, because it starts one, and uh, okay. Uh, you already know how, uh, and uh, we need just to separate this. Let's uh, let's write a couple of stars. Okay, a couple of stars again to separate this. It is a better. Okay, semicolon here and uh, semicolon here. And okay, we have a for loop. We have a while while loop. Uh, let's uh, let's compile this. Okay, it's okay. Uh, let's. I don't know if I clear or not. Okay, it's clear. And uh, let's run. Okay, we have this is a for loop. Okay, everything is good. And while loop also everything is good with a while loop. Uh, this is uh, okay. Uh, of course, you can use a uh, for uh, and while, but you know advantage. I told you that uh, uh, for loop has advantage because uh, many times uh, okay, uh, I, I using loops and uh, it happens. Of course, that I also forget to 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 do incrementation in the while loop, or we or we can use a repeat until loop. Of course, we will use it uh, uh, in, uh, when use while when we are using while loop, and when we are using repeat until we need to do incrementation. We cannot forget it, and in the for loop, uh, uh, incrementation is automatically, and because this is advantage of the for loop. Okay, just to remember. Okay, uh, I'm pretty much sure that you understand this. Uh, okay. And uh, okay, and I really hope that you that you uh, like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me uh, on Twitter and Instagram. You have a link in the description. And I will see you in the next tutorial.